PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pe Peach Tools, great to see you here again today. It's another beautiful day here in Paradise as you can see. So now you're wondering what the hell's that idiot down with the garden hose. Well, I was out here guys and I'm watering my garden away and then I suddenly thought to myself, I thought to myself, I wonder if I could run a plasma cutter on a garden hose. Doesn't everyone think that when they water in the garden? Maybe I'm just crazy. Oh yeah, I am crazy. Yeah! <laughs> anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day, Pete at PeachTools.com. And let's see if this idiot Pete can make a plasma torch run on a garden hose. <laughs> so guys, I've got me a three metre or so length of garden hose, shake the bloody water out of it, and uh, let's see if we can make it into a plasma torch. <laughs> And before you say, guys, I know it's not rated for air and everything else. We're just having an experiment here. See if I can actually cut a sheet of steel with a garden hose. That's all Pete wants to do today. Yeah! So, guys, if you've been watching any of my videos, you know darn well I like collect all this junk. I got this old earth leaf from the dump the other day. As you can see, it's busted. It's got a, a kink in it here. See, we've got more cuts there as well. So it's not much good for an earth lead anymore. So what I'm going to use this old cable for is the power conductor lead inside my hose from a plasma torch. And this shouldn't be too bad actually because this is probably rated at 100 amps and I'm only cutting 40 amps so it should be fine. Anyway, that's my theory. <laughs> so I went through my junk pile guys, I found this old bloody plasma torch here that I haven't used for ages. I think it's still got a switch in that on it so we'll use that and we'll try and reassemble this one as well. So guys, I've also got these which are the both end connectors for your torch. This, this one here goes in here. Goes into the torch end here like so and this one here screws into your plasma cutter the other way. If you're looking for these connectors guys, I cut these ones off an old plasma torch that I ran over with the truck, but you can actually buy them. They're exactly the same as the TIG connectors. Here, I'll show you. See, if you guys are into TIG welding, see the generic TIG torches like this have exactly the same connectors on it like this. This one goes into your welder, which is the same as this one here. See, the only difference is, guys, this one here's got a blue plastic cover on it, and this one here hasn't. Here, I'll show you. Like so. See, they're both exactly the same. So this is a TIG fitting. If you're looking for these fittings, just look under TIG, because uh, sometimes when they're under the plasma cutter stuff, you won't find them. And this is just your on-off switch that goes into your welder or your plasma cutter or whatever you're doing. In this case, obviously, it's a TIG machine. And this end here that screws into the torch head is the same as this on your TIG. If we take this off here, guys, and have a look. See that, guys? These fittings are almost the same. So if you're looking for fittings like this and you can't find them, look under the TIG stuff. Right, so first thing we want to do, guys, grab the old earth lead like this and just whack them off. Yeah! And Pete will put that in the drawer for later. That'll be useful for something. This end here has already been stripped, so we'll just strip the other end. Now, what I should really do, guys, is take the covering off this for a cooling effect, but, you know, I can't be bothered and all that, so we'll just use it the way it is. But if you guys are doing it, doing this, I don't recommend you do it with a uh, garden hose. I would do it with an airline. So if you're using airline, it's rated for uh, it's rated for the air pressure as well, so you won't have any problem. And you can make them as long as you like, basically. There we go. This end's all done. Now, whatever hose you're using, guys, just cut it slightly shorter than the lead that you've got. So however long your lead is, cut your hose slightly shorter than that, guys. I need a new knife. Just like that. Now what I do guys, is just get a bit of insulation tape or any tape at all. And if you wrap it around the end of your lead like that, so it doesn't gark into the side when you're trying to feed it down your hose, it just makes it run a lot smoother because it's quite hard to get this cable down that hose. So anyway guys, we'll try and feed it in. Stretch your hose out as straight as possible and feed your cable down the guts of it. Here we go, turn them around the other way, let's have a look. So here we go guys, we've got both ends there. See that, they're both moving there. Right, so we'll just take the tape off here now. But if you put this tape on there, it just makes it a lot easier to try and thread your wire through. So we've got both ends like this now guys. So grab a hose clip guys and just slip it over your garden hose like that. Grab your fitting that you've either got off an old torch or you've found somewhere or you've brought off Amazon or something like that. Like I say, if you're looking for these things, look under TIG fittings. I might put some links down below actually if you can't find What I do with the wire guys is I split it in half like this and then I feed half of it up through the centre and then half back and then join it together. Here, I'll show you. Here we go, like that. Pull them back like so. 
just like that like so make sure it's in there tight the hose clip will uh, help as well slide them back like so until you've got enough in there like that grab your hose clip and like I say if you're doing with ear hose it works good because the ear hose is, is rated for ear obviously well garden hose isn't but anyway we're just doing an experiment so what we need to do guys is do the same to the other end there uh, with this fitting here of course the one that goes into your plasma cutter so once again we'll just put our uh, hose clip on there guys yee -ha! don't you just love playing with things I do anyway I'm mad I'm crazy crazy like a fool daddy cool same thing again guys just bend the wire up sort of split it in half bend it up pull it back just so you can twist it together I mean it's not ideal but it'll work it'll work Pete well let's hope it'll work <laughs> I've never actually done it with a garden hose before so your guess is as good as mine guys once again put them in there yeah, try and tuck them into your hose like so. You might have an issue with that. So what we're going to have to do is straighten this hose out. Push them in there like so, guys. Just enough to get your hose clip done up. What you're trying to do is compress that wire inside this hose. And it doesn't like it very much. So just get as much in there as you can. Get out the gumboot, guys. Don't stab yourself. I've stabbed myself doing it like this many a time. Ooh. There we go, guys in there there we have it guys two fittings garden hose wire and the guts of it yeah right now let's go and put this onto a torch so guys i got my old plasma torch here i might not use the switch i might just put a zip tie switch on it'd be a lot easier um there's the torch head there we'll get some use out of that so all i'm going to do now is just screw this into here like that i don't recommend you do this at home guys because you get friggin electrocuted or something stupid i'm just doing an experiment you know how it is so what I'm going to do is just uh, lay that in there guys, put the top on them, just like that guys, I'm going to get my uh, favourite tool, roll the tape, <laughs> I'm not screwing this up because like I say it's just an experiment to see if we can actually get it to work, I don't even know if it will work guys, so we'll have a look and see what happens, so we'll just tape them up, like so, and we'll just tape them up at the back, One plasma torch. <laughs> so what I'm going to use for the switch, guys, instead of wiring it into there because I couldn't be bothered, really, I'm just going to use the remote switch like this. I've got some videos on how to make these switches with these little toggle switches here. Check the description below, and I'll put a link in there how to make these as well. They're really, really easy. All it is is just one of these little plugs here and an off-on switch, really. It's just a low-voltage thing. Anyway, guys, we'll zip-tie this onto here. So about there, Pete. I might put one up the back just to stabilise them a little bit. Now if you're looking for these switches or anything like that, I'll put some links down below and uh, you can just get them. They're cheapest chips, eh? Right, yeah, we've got one on the back there as well. Yeah, Starting to look like a plasma torch. Right, we'll just cut off the bits so we don't scratch ourselves when we try and cut something. There we go, guys. On off switch. Got the torch. Got the garden hose. What else could you need? <laughs> So guys, here we are with my cup 40 as usual. Here's my little just off-on switch. Um, like I said, if you don't know how to make one of these, check the uh, description below and I'll show you how to make them. They're really, really easy. Here's the old garden hose plasma cutter torch. Yeah! Right, we'll just do them up. Just make sure he's tight. Did you notice when I showed you on that TIG torch and the plasma cutter ones as well, these things come with a plastic sort of cover on them? And why that is, is because if you touch that and you touch your earth or you touch the middle that you're doing at the same time, you'll get bloody electrocuted. So just A, don't do what I'm doing. And B, if you are going to do what I'm doing, make sure that you tape it up or put some sort of insulator on it. Because don't touch this and don't touch your earth or don't touch it what you're cutting at the same time because you'll get zapped, guys. Trust me. I've been there and done it. Bah, it's not a good look. <laughs> right, yeah, guys. Will it work? Check it out. Garden hose. Not a bad looking cut with a garden hose, guys. <laughs> oh, 
Well, it's always next time you're at a party and someone asks you, can you flash my cup with a garden hose, you can say, yes, you can. Anyway, guys, that's about it for this time. Same as usual, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day at peachtools.com, and we'll see you next time, eh? But in all seriousness, guys, don't do this. You might electrocute yourself. Peachtools.com.com.com.